Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make responsive email template in Figma. No matter if you are designing for desktop, tablets or mobile screens, Figma makes it simple to create layout that adjusts into different screen sizes. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, I have already created email dashboard, but it's a static for now and we will make it responsive. I have separated this layout in three different sections a header, left panel and a right panel. And the left panel, you can see a menu bar, list of emails and on the right side, you can see an email thread. So very first step to convert any design into responsive, we need to convert it into an auto layout. So for that, I am selecting these two frames and click on this button. It says use auto layout. Now click on the left panel and change the width to fill container you need to make sure that each frame's width should be in a fill mode now we need to scale the width for this email list for that select the email list and change the width to fill container now select this all email cards and change their width to fill container now you need to make sure that each elements inside the card should have their width properties to be fill content. Now do the same process for all email cards. Now all these email cards become responsive. Now if you select this frame and scale it like this, you can see all the cards inside the list are adjusting automatically. So I did the same process over here at the right side. You can check all these frames and these elements have the width properties to fill content. So as you can see, here I have added two more artboards. One is for the iPad and one is for the iPhone. To make this design responsive, we need to create tokens first. So for that, I am creating local variables here. So what is local variable? The variable is a reusable value that can be used for design properties and prototyping. So if you click on create variable, you will see these four different options color, number, string and boolean. First of all, we are going to create a number variable. Whatever variables we are going to create, it will be divided in three different breakpoints. So first of all, we are going to create for desktop, then add another breakpoint. Here you can type tablet and the third is for the mobile. We will name this variable width. We have three different width for three different breakpoints. So for desktop, it's a 1500, for tablet is 834 and for mobile, it's 393. Now I'm going to create another variable called boolean. This variable is mostly used to show or hide any element or any frame. So here I'm going to type show hide right panel. It can be only visible in the desktop mode. In the tablet and the mobile, it should remain hide. So here I am going to turn this toggle on. Here I will type show hide menu bar. So this menu bar will remain visible in the desktop and the tablet. Here I am going to turn this toggle on in the desktop and in the tablet. So these are the icons which we are going to put inside the header. And in the desktop, we will hide these icons. They are only visible in tablet and mobile. Now I am going to create more variables for the most common and necessary cases to help us to make this design responsive. As we have created all required variables over here, now we are going to apply these variables into the design. So for that, we need to convert this dashboard into a component. So I'm selecting this dashboard, go to the actions and click on create component. Now you can add a properties over here, same as the variable. So now add a boolean property. Here I type show hide right panel. So now we already created variables 
you just need to click on the apply variables and select show height right panel and click on create property now open the variables panel you need to create the exit sim components as the variables we have created here so click on the dashboard add property click on boolean and write show height menu bar click on apply variable and choose the variable with the same name so i'm repeating the same process over here as we have created all the required properties over here now we are going to apply on the design so for that i'm just taking this dashboard out of the frame so to apply these properties into this design select the right panel go to the appearance and click on this icon to apply variable or property now select the property to hide the right panel the second one is for the menu bar select the menu bar go to the appearance and apply property the third one is for the search bar select the search bar and apply the property so in the header we have added two icons one is hamburger menu and search icon so select hamburger menu icon and apply the property do the same thing for search icon now select this menu labels and apply this property called show height menu labels now all these properties have been applied to this dashboard now go to assets panel and grab this component called dashboard into the desktop now select the desktop and go to appearance and click on this icon where it says apply variable mode here you will see the list of three different breakpoints we have created in this variable table you can see desktop tablet and mobile so select the desktop here and you will see the desktop label over here now we will do the same process for the tablet and the mobile so first of all select this dashboard and drag it to the tablet now click on this frame and select the tablet mode like this and you will see the design is changed automatically as per the variables and properties we have created now we need to adjust this design according to the tablet so here you can see the menu bar looks white so to change any properties into the design you need to change it into the main component so select the menu bar go to width and choose hug contents now we need to change the width of this email list so select the email list frame over here and change the width to fill container now select the left panel and change the width to fill container now select the dashboard and drag it to the iphone so you can see here everything is adjusted automatically based on the variables and the properties we have created so here's how you can create a responsive design if you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video and share it with your designer friends. I'll be back with another tutorial on the Figma and the website design soon. Until then, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated and watch more videos like this.